All right, class, welcome to uh, Cafe World 101. Uh, today we're going to look at buzz ratings. Uh, some of you are having issues with buzz ratings. Uh, we're going to try to show you some tricks and tips on how to do that. As you notice here in my cafe, I'm sitting at 105. That really does not change too often. Once in a while, I'll get down to like 104.1 or some stuff like that. But that usually means one of my counters here uh, is missing food. Uh, if you have a counter without food on it, uh, that will directly affect your buzz rating. So we're going to go over a couple of things here today. And we're going to show you how to solve that. Uh, first thing is you need to make sure you have at least two. Some people recommend three, uh, and usually I try to have three uh, doors on each wall. Uh, this is very important because you want the most customers in your cafe as you can have. You also need to make sure that you have plenty of tables and seats. Now, to explain something about tables and seats, now I've got mine all in a row. Uh, if you're going to do that, as you know, obviously, you're, there's four sides to each table, and you could put four chairs around them. That's a waste. The way uh, Zynga set this up when they did this, uh, only one customer can sit at each table. So if you've got four chairs, you're, you're, you're wasting money on three uh, it, it, so it just doesn't make any sense. You, so you, as you notice, I've got all of mine on one side here facing my serving counters. Uh, now there are a couple of chairs at the end here. These aren't, nobody can use those. I just put them out there for decoration, I guess is what you would call it. Uh, so your key point here is one chair per table. Make sure you have lots of tables. Uh, you got to have a place for your customers to sit. Uh, the next thing is, is use instant serve. If you notice as my customers are coming in, uh, let's see if we can find one here that actually comes in and sits down. Uh, we'll hang here for just a second. Here we got a guy coming in right now. Now watch this one right here. She just sat down and so did this one. And if you'll notice what happens is their food there just flew right to them to that one and then this one here will get his there we go he got his and there's no waiter on my floor anywhere if you notice that well there's a reason for that it's the way we set up instant serve to set up instant serve what we do is we take all of our counters here and if you'll notice all the plates are on this side so everything's facing that way same way here these are sitting uh, with the plates on this side. Uh, and I've totally blocked my wait staff in. So as you notice, they're just standing there doing nothing. Well, that's because they're blocked in. They can't get out here to these customers. So the food, when a customer sits down, flies from the counter right out, out here to the table. And the key point there is, is you're trying to get your customers in the door fast sitting at a table and served uh, and those obviously the quicker you can do that the higher your buzz rating uh, you'll also notice I have plenty of room here in the front plenty down the side plenty in between these rows of tables and you can't really see it too well uh, because of these trussles here but there's plenty of walkway down this side so there is nothing stopping my customer from getting to the, his seat fast. Now, if I had a bunch of this junk, which actually as soon as uh, uh, this New Year's stuff is all over with, I'll get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, because you don't want your customers to walk around anything. If it's going to slow them down getting to a, a table, your buzz rating is going to go down. So you need to need to get rid of as much junk as you possibly can. Uh, I've still got some uh, Christmas decorations in here. I need to clean this up too. Uh, like the old saying, keep it simple, stupid. You don't need a bunch of garbage uh, that Cafe World tries to get you to use. Uh, there, there's no reason for it. Uh, you'll also notice... I, a really nice advantage here 
is notice I've got all of my stoves here in one big group and look where my cook is he's standing over here he's out of my way now if I wanted to uh, for instance serve these dishes right now if I didn't have my stove set up this way he'd be getting in my way every time I try to click on one of these uh, he'd be getting in my way and and it's hard to work around him and everything else the trick to stop that is turn all your handles in facing each other or facing out toward the outside of your cafe or whatever to where he cannot get to the handles it's the handles that are the trick uh, if he can't get to the handles of your stoves then he also can't get in your way so that keeps him out of the way now the next thing that, that with those two things mainly being able to get in as fast as possible and sit down and the instant serve your buzz rating is going to go up to 105 real quick there the other thing let's say you are on your counters running out of uh, food you just don't have a lot of food a lot of the lower levels this happens here's how we stop that uh, we will go into what we call remodel mode in our cafe now you can stay in remodel mode as long as you want uh, if you don't have enough food go into remodel for three or four days while we're cooking missions and just cook all the food you can you're not going to sell any food this way which is fine but you're going to build up a supply of food uh, to do this all we have to do is simply go right down here and click on customize when you get into the customize mode you just grab your door uh, click on it and then you're just gonna drag it down here okay notice your door went away up there at top now I'm not gonna do it now because I've got some spendy doors that I don't really need uh, and I don't want to accidentally sell one but if you remove all your doors and put them down in there no customers can come in that's called remodel mode at that point your buzz rating will not change whatever it is it's going to stay there so if you're 105 get your buzz rating up first uh, and then pull your doors you're in remodel now let's say you do that for three or four days then all of your counters once they're full and you've got 10,000 of each or whatever you want to do then you can go back down uh, to your doors and grab and this uh, on lower levels I recommend you just use the free door uh, because you're gonna be pulling them quite often but anyhow you grab your door and drag it back out and put them back in place as soon as you do that and hit done your cafe is gonna open back up to customers they're gonna be coming in and you're gonna have plenty of food on your counters to serve your customers uh, with that said I think that that is about as far as we'll go today uh, but that should increase all of your buzz ratings uh, if you set up feel free to go to my cafe look at mine you do not have to set them up exactly like I did uh, as long as you make sure you have a lot of tables uh, one chair per table set up your block in your uh, wait staff so that they will instant serve your customers uh, I think you'll see that your buzz rating will jump and you'll be able to maintain a higher buzz rating at all times. You want to try to stay as close to 105 as you can because the higher the buzz rating, the more customers you get. With that, we're going to end the video for the day. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.